what is the definition of being stuck? Just how stuck is stuck? How exactly is stuck stuck? I can tell you that I was really stuck in Algeria. Let's explore the nature of the stuckness together. Hello guys, welcome back to Lysandra Patrice Vlogs. My name is Lysandra Patrice and I am from the beautiful island of Jamaica. I have been living and working in China for several years. Yes, that's me. Ni hao wa guan. In January 2020, I went on a routine business trip to Algeria in Northern Africa with a Chinese work delegation. Soon thereafter, news broke of the COVID-19 pandemic. However, we continued to work in the office until the first case of COVID-19 was declared in Algeria. Yes, that's me sitting at my desk with my mask. COVID-19 cases continued to spread in Algeria and as such, there were many restrictions on movement in the community in which I lived. In fact, I was living together with Chinese colleagues and I was the only foreigner amongst them. On March 22nd, the government of Algeria officially closed their airport, which meant that all incoming and outgoing flights were canceled. As such, I was basically stuck in Algeria, but I really occupied myself exercising, learning, and working. So it wasn't all bad for me at that time. So I would have been in Algeria for a total of three months up to this time. January, February, and March. And by March, all airports, including the Chinese airport, the Jamaican airport, and the Algerian airport were closed. I should point out though, that during this time, there were several repatriation flights from Algeria to developed countries. Uh, these flights were organized by resident embassies within Algeria. However, I did not qualify for those repatriation flights based on my nationality. The majority of repatriation flights were leaving for the EU, Canada, and the US. Soon, news began circulating about the government of Jamaica's intention to organize a flight 
for its citizens who had been stuck in Asia, Europe, and parts of Africa. I was very excited to hear this news. However, it soon became apparent to me that I would not be able to join this flight which would originate in Amsterdam because for one, the Algerian airport was still closed and two, I did not qualify for repatriation flights to the EU. Hence, this miracle flight was not too miraculous for me. By now, I would have been in Algeria for a total of six months. January, February, March, April, May, and June. And at least June brought a bit of good news. The Jamaican government decided to reopen the Jamaican airport. But the problem was, how will I get to Jamaica? So after doing a ton of research, I realized that it would be best for me to fly from Algeria to France or Germany, then onwards to the US and then to Jamaica. However, there was no way for me to get on to repatriation flights to Europe at this point, so France and Germany were out of it. And to make matters worse, there was a decree in the US to block all incoming flights from the EU. Therefore, I was no longer stuck. I was stuck stuck. There was no way out. And to make matters worse, how could things get possibly worse? <laughs> They did get worse. August was the bearer of bad news. Both my US visa and Chinese work permit expired. So by this time, I was in Algeria for a total of eight months. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. I was exhausted. And not to mention that for this entire time, I was confined in a community where we could not even exit the main gate. On some days, we could not even exit our rooms. So, the extent of my social interaction was limited. I was just basically in communication with my friend Lily. Met Lily, right? What does it mean to be stuck plus tax? Not stuck, 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 stuck. That is when the president of Algeria goes on national television and declares that Algeria will only reopen its borders once Allah rids the country of the coronavirus. All right, so just take a moment and think about that. That stuck plus tax. So, what options remained at this point? I could have applied for a US transit visa, but there were many restrictions concerning the persons eligible for application. And to make matters worse, the office in Algeria was closed. I could have also applied for a UK transit visa, but the situation was pretty much similar to that of the US. It was basically a no go. Thankfully, I was able to apply for a Canadian transit visa. I was so 
happy when my application went through and saw this as a chance to finally leave Algeria. Yes. In the meantime, I continued to search out for alternative routes to Jamaica. I looked for flights from Algeria to Germany and then from Germany onwards to Jamaica. I also looked for flights from Algeria to France to Panama and then to Jamaica. But as it turns out, none of these flights were available and the, the countries were not even accepting of persons from Algeria. So I just wanted for you guys to experience the suffering before the deliverance. Praise the Lord. God is so good. We finally hit the jackpot, guys. The Canadians came through and they came through well. I finally received an email asking for me to send my passport to the Canadian Embassy for a visa. It was like a miracle, guys. The miraculous happened. We thank God that this happened. But the airport is still not open. And I still do not qualify for repatriation flights. So even with this transit visa, I am still stuck. I am, I am more than stock plus tax. Is there a stock plus infinity? Well, whatever it is, whatever the terminology for stock, I was that.